Let's look at some of the reports that you can get up on the customer module. So first of all, let's look at letters. We have the address change letter, like I showed you on the supplier reports, but we also have a couple of credit control reports that might be good to use. There's the payment reminder template. Let's preview that. So you have your address in the corner, your customer's address for the window envelope. It says dear, brings up their contact, says their account is overdue, and then your sincerely and the company name with room for signature. It's a very basic template, but like I've said in my previous reports, as we've re reviewed other previous reports, is that I can show you how to edit these and make them how you wish. And once again, if you only want reports for certain customers, just highlight them and then click the reports or letters or statements and it'll just do those who are highlighted. Let's click on statement, the other credit control report that we need. Let's do self-seal A4 statement, click preview, click OK. This will give you a statement, statements to print off that you can send to your Customers, so it does it all automatically for you, shows what's outstanding on their accounts. And just like the finance reports I've showed you in these videos, obviously these statements are only going to be as accurate as the data you've put into Sage on your customer accounts. Let's look under reports. We have customer details reports again, customer address list, customer lists, customer invoice reports, customer invoices due customer invoices overdue top customer reports so your top customer list for the month and for the year but the age debtors reports are the ones you'll probably use most especially for credit control if we do the summary so this is the same as the age creditors analysis that we used earlier that showed you outstanding amounts and invoices due on supplier accounts this one is age debtors analysis so it does the same but this time for customers so this is the summary this gives the customer account and name and the balance on their account and when these balances are due to you if we click on detailed give you the same report but this time it will break down the figures that make the balances on their accounts so each invoice and credit note. And there's only a few on these reports because I've only highlighted these at the back to come up. As before we can click clear, we can click swap, we can delete accounts, we can print the list off and um, there's a total box here if we click on some customers give us our total, we click clear and swap bring us the grand total on the sales ledger let's clear that and once again we can change view to this customer process when our stage training at someone's premises once they said this is like a uh, like apps this is like a phone like you yeah, have little apps you can press I don't particularly like the the process maps let's click on customer dashboard and you'll get some Good reports up, so overdue or not due, let's click on overdue, gives you everything that's overdue on your accounts. This practice company seriously has some credit control issues, they have a lot of money due to them. We have older and current, once again, your Sage should give you bars in each box, this is just practice data, so the data is not presented that well. If we click current, I'll show you what's currently due, we can go back and back again if we click older show everything that's older than these months so one month two months and three months okay um, customers in red are those who have gone past their credit limits you can put their accounts on hold 
just like the suppliers account is over credit limit you can put it on hold here by going on credit control and clicking save so we'll now look at the bank module so down here click bank once we've looked at the bank module I'm going to show you a few other things about Sage how to make corrections and so forth um, but we're a good way through our training course so the bank module is very similar to the other modules we have our banks in this list the bank list and then we have our icons at the top here so here these are the bank accounts we have set up on Sage with the bank current account bank deposit account building society account petty cash cash register and company credit card so to edit a bank account first of all double click just like we do on all the other modules you can't change the account code same as the nominal ledger the customer and supply ledger but you can edit other things so instead of calling this bank current account let's call it current account and let's put in Barclays you may have a couple of current accounts um, one with Barclays one with RBS for example and you can put those details in there click save and that will be saved now current account Barclays you can edit the bank details your account name account number sort code for example the address of the bank on the activity tab shows all money in and out of the bank so any transactions through this bank account and then we have a memo tab if you want to put any memos in you may want to put in here the card the last four digits of card numbers for this account so when you look on bank statements you know money's come out of this account for example let's do another one so bank deposit account let's just call it deposit account and we could put let's do HSBC click save there we go double click edit bank details the activity tab what's gone in and out of this bank and then a memo 